Hello and welcome to the Tarka Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a, a product review here on Amazon.com and it's going to be on this uh, product I got back in February 2nd of 2018. So I've owned it a while now. It's a K-Cool octopus style portable and adjustable tripod stand. I am going to give it a two star review um, and I'm going to explain why I'm giving it a two star review. It really is not designed, I don't think, to do what they're showing you here. Uh, especially, let's go to this picture here, where they've got they got it set up on the tripod. This is where it actually fails miserably. As you can see, see here in the picture, they got this little sports cam, and it's sitting on the tripod, and it looks level. Well, I imagine for them to get that photo, they must have fooled with it for at least five minutes. Because I'll tell you what, because of the flexibility of the legs, and the, the and the multiple settings for how the legs can be uh, brought out. Let's see. Take a look at here. See how where the the uh, tripod legs are, and I'm going to go to another picture that they've got. And here, this picture. See how more spread out the legs are. That's part of its downfall. It's a it's it's okay that they can come out and extend, but it's not stiff. It's they're loose. So basically, at the very top of here where the legs come to that big plastic housing, there this flexibility in play. So what happens is, is you can spread the legs out all the way, or you could spread them out so they're more tight. But that requires a little bit of adjusting. And because the legs being so flexible, it requires a lot of adjusting. So for example, I tried to put one of the sports uh, cameras on it that we were just looking at that. In this picture, you can see they got a sports camera on top of this thing. It literally took me five minutes to get this sports camera leveled because of all the flexibilities this thing has. And I'm thinking to myself, well, a tripod shouldn't take you that long to set up. Now, I imagine if you're using it for what they've got here, where they've got it wrapped around a tree, or you're just trying to cling it to a handlebar, or you're trying to use it for awkward situations, I imagine if you do it right and then you would expect that you'd spend some time trying to get it to do you know to get it working then that's okay but I, i'm just trying to utilize it as a normal tripod and it it does take a, a, a little bit of effort to get the thing leveled and as you're trying to level it the, the legs would well, one leg would bend and you get that leg straightened out and, and the thing about it is is once the legs are you know kind of loose and whatnot no matter how much weight you put on the camera one of the legs would would bend so then you got to adjust another leg and then another leg or try to straighten up the leg that bent and you just it's it, it's almost comical it reminds me of like a three stooges kind of thing where it's like one domino effect one thing goes wrong it affects another thing then another thing and that's what the thing about this uh, tripod uh uh, is is that's what it is. It's, it seems like as more you fiddle with it, the more uneven the camera got. I even tried putting a, uh, a camcorder on top of it. And that it, what happened was is the weight of the camcorder caused the legs to spread out. And then here in the center, they would buckle in. That's how, that's how um, malleable the legs are. I mean, they would just buckle in and it took forever just to get the camcorder level and I gave up on that. Actually, I gave up on this product altogether. I actually threw it in my uh, camera bag in hopes to give it away to some kid that, that needs one. I, you know, I've got a few, uh, you know, high schoolers that are just starting photography and whatnot and I might just give it to them and they might be able to use it for what you see here on a bicycle or from oddball uh, scenarios like putting it on a, a rail or a fence or whatnot, but it definitely is not easy use for just standard um, using it the way they show it here because you've got to fiddle with it, trying to get the lens. You know, I was doing a, a I. I had set it all up, got it all level, put the sports camera on it. I was doing a video, and then over just about three minutes in the video, you could see the the video do this, like it was crooked. And it's because one of the legs buckled during the process. And I was like, well, uh, that's just the, the nature of what they've got here is the legs are quite flexible. The uh, how it connects to the, the leg connecting to it has that flexible gap in it. It's just there's a lot of moving parts here. And if you're looking for something that's easier to deal with, I would recommend something else. And I'm going to give this a two star only because, you know, it, it, 
I imagine it uh, works how they show you in this picture. It just works miserably if you're trying just to use it as a standard tripod. You know, and that's my opinion of it. Um, and this has been a Tarkus Zone review.